Turkey is not an easy ally for the West to manage. Viciously insulting if it doesn't get its way, it alternates between pressing hard for EU membership and pretending it no longer needs it. My guest here in the German city of Dusseldorf is the Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Cavusoglu. Are the differences between Turkey and the EU becoming impossible to reconcile? Mevlut Cavusoglu, welcome to Conflict Zone. Thank you. Do you recognize these comments? Nazism is still widespread in the West. The Netherlands are Nazi remnants and fascists. The Netherlands are the capital of fascism. Tulips were sent to Holland from Turkey during the time of the Ottomans. It seems that the tulips have not made the prime minister and racist politicians in the Netherlands real men. Well, Comments from you and your president. Do you see any reason why the EU should deal with you as a candidate member if you're going to insult them like this? Well, uh, last year, when the Netherlands didn't want to allow us to meet the Turkish people in the Netherlands, there was a tension and rhetoric was very high and it was coming from both sides and I didn't start that. And when the... What did they call when, you? When the what did they call you? When the Prime Minister of the Netherlands uh, told me that I can go to Netherlands to see the tulips but I cannot see the Turkish people. How can you define that? Which, which standard? Which democratic standard? It's their country. Which it's democratic standard? It's their rules. No, they can is, decide no, what they want. It's sovereignty. It's sovereignty. No, it is not. It is not. It is when, 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 the, when there is a case, such cases, you can criticize any country. When there is this any... This isn't criticism. This no. is vicious insulting. No, it is not the vicious. It this is, is vicious insulting. It, no, it is not. It no? is not. You, this you is how you, you talk to people. No, this no, no, is no. diplomacy, you Ankara have, style, is you, it? You have your own. You have your own understanding of democracy, and when you uh, violate the democratic standards, you said it is sovereignty. So how can you uh, try to teach democracy to Turkey then? Who gives you right then? If you ha if you think that you have the right to criticize Turkey for this and that, you should also accept that. I can criticize any country when they violate the democratic standards. You have done so damage. You have done no. damage to your relations with Europe because two months no, ago I didn't. the European Commission reported that bilateral relations with several EU member states no. had deteriorated, Which including one? at times offensive and unacceptable rhetoric. Give me one example. This is what they say. Two months this ago, is this is what the European you Commission think that said. Whatever European countries and whatever European Union says right, and whatever we say wrong. So I'm telling you what is, they this said. This is, this is your problem. You think that you are the boss, you are the first class country, you are the, fir you are the first class nations, Turkey is the second class country, Turkish people are the second. Who said anything about second class? This is, this Who is, called you second class? You don't have to say directly, but this is, we, we see this uh, from, the way, from the point that you are, how you are treating Turkey and Turkish people. And How, I, are, you I have, I have been How are you being treated? They exercise their right to tell you whether you can give a speech which no. would have security the, implications well, for them. How about the freedom them? of assembly? Freedom of speech? And you are trying but to give is, me lessons this is, of this that. Is, this is your double standard, isn't no, it? No, it is not my because double standard. the it real is double standard, you, you are complaining about a lack of democracy it in Europe. It is the absolutely the double standard of the Europe and the West, unfortunately, at this moment. Mr. Shabusholo, you are complaining about a lack of democracy in Europe at the same time as the United Nations is telling you that you have violated the rights of hundreds, the human rights of hundreds of thousands of people in your own country. No, that is not so, true. So that, this is that hypocrisy that on a no, grand it, scale, it, it, isn't it? It is not hypocrisy. It is your hypocrisy, unfortunately. What, the United Nations is a this, hypocrite, this, is it? You know, we faced a, a terrible attempted coup. And then I had to take the measures. My security, security of my people, is important, more, more important than your comments and your understanding. You don't want to understand what happened in Turkey. And many countries in the West supported the plotters. Now, uh, many countries in the West actually giving different type of status, asylum to all these plotters, including the former military officials. 
Why, don't, why didn't you uh, support the democracy in Turkey when we faced this military coup? So should I sit and stay there until they come back and they took over? They, took, uh, they threw over the democratically elected government and demo they to destroy the democratic institutions in Turkey? So the Look, United am, Nations am, is wrong. I am, I am, the United I am Nations normalizing senior my relations with official. Germany because German foreign, minister, uh, uh, foreign ministers have been working with me and I have been working with them. I have been normalizing my the, the Turkish relations with Austria because the new foreign minister, Mr. Chancellor, no, don't no, no, continue. Let no, me please. speak. No, I am letting you, you are, speak. But, no, but I'm, not, I'm trying to ask you some questions. You are not. You, let, you, you are not letting me speak. You ask the question, and after my first sentence, you cut and you know. make more comment than I do. Put the question. Let me answer, and t you have to respect. See, you don't even have respect. Till uh, to me, and you don't. I make have plenty of respect. No, I'm just trying no, to no, get an don't. answer to a question. This is not the way to make the interview. You, you said ask the question, make your comments, and wait until I give the answer. This is how we do the interview. If you think that now you are trying to foreign minister, uh, humiliating the foreign minister of Turkey like this. This is not the way. I'm not trying to humiliate yeah, this you. Is I'm, what trying, you are I'm trying to ask you, you a are question not allowing me to, get to answer an answer. the question. Here's, a, here's okay. a question. Here's a question. Okay, yeah. put the question. Last July, yeah. Foreign Minister Zygmar Gabriel of Germany complained about your imprisonment of the dual national journalist Deniz Yücel. And he said your president was trying to muzzle every critical voice. So Mr. Erdogan hit back telling him he should know his limits. Who are you to talk to the president of Turkey, he said. How old are you? Do you expect European governments to, to bow down and flatter your president? Well, well when we criticize the uh, German uh, authorities, and we get also similar, uh, similar comments, and they have been also in insulting me from the time. When the rhetoric is high, unfortunately, you see the statements coming from, uh, s such statements coming from both sides. This is why, what did they say and to later you? on, I, I work with the same foreign minister, Zygmar Gabriel to normalize the relations. I visited him at his house. He offered me a tea, and Turkish tea, and we worked together to normalize the relations, and we have made a lot of progress. Why don't you focus <coughs> and pay more attention to this process, but only the negative uh, uh, aspect of our relations, which was in the past? What is extraordinary in the light of your comment over the last two years is that you are now pressing to join the EU within the next five years. This is according to your Deputy Prime Minister Recep Agtag. What he told the German newspaper Die Welt a few days ago, he accused the EU of acting unfairly, allowing several Balkan countries to join first. And he said Turkey deserves to join the EU earlier than any other candidate. Yeah, Turkey has been waiting for 60 years. And in the uh, last 16 years, we made a lot of reforms. When we had the best relations with the, with the European Union, if I mean 2006, immediately after we started the negotiations, and some countries, France, and also European Union Commission blocked several chapters. And those days we didn't have any bad relations with the European Union. It was excellent. So what he is trying to do that uh, to say that my deputy prime minister, even when we do the reforms, and when we reach the opening and uh, closing benchmarks of the chapters, unfortunately, due to the political obstacles, we haven't made uh, any progress. So why don't you respect his opinion? He's the deputy prime minister, and you question every statement of uh, why, why pol Turkish politicians, but you, when you never question the European side or we, double we, standard of course, and we, of course we question the European side, but you don't represent Europe, so I'm, I'm asking you I don't you represent, to represent Europe. Because you're a representative of Turkey, I'm asking I am you about things Turkey I am founding has member said. of the Council of Europe, my friend. And I chair the uh, Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe for two years. You, between are, you 2010. are here as Foreign Minister. And of we are also a member of NATO, we are a member of the OEC, and we are the part of I Europe. Understand. We are not us, outsider, we are part of the Europe. But you, you like seem it to or not, we are the part of the Europe. Mr. Foreign Minister, why, if you want to continue, did your president tell Parliament in Ankara last October to tell the truth, we don't need EU membership anymore? So which is it? You want it in well, five years, or you don't want it anymore? Which is look, it? Look, this is the reaction. Uh, this is the reaction uh, when European Union behaves Turkey that only Turkey needs European Union. Turkey needs European Union, 
and European Union needs Turkey. We are aware of this, but some European countries unfortunately don't see the fact. So why say and you don't need few, it anymore? And only, he said you only don't need few it. countries in the European Union actually against Turkey's EU membership. A big majority of the EU countries, EU member states actually, are in favour of Turkish EU membership. So why membership. tell them you don't want membership anymore? He said, and you threatened Look, Europe this is last the year as this well. Is the reaction, this Europe. is the reaction of the country who has been waiting at the door for 60 years. Okay, 60 years. So Sometimes why, so say why, that it is Turkey's mistake. So in why 60 threaten, years. So why threaten Europe? In March last year, when the diplomatic what kind of threatening, row... What, what kind of threatening is this? In March last year, what when the that? diplomatic row with Germany was at its height, your president said that if Europe continues this way, no European in any part of the world can walk safely on the streets. That's what he said. That's a threat. That's no, a direct a threat. threat. No, it is not a threat. How can that not be a threat? It is not a threat. It is the, actually, he is warning the Europe. If you are in hypocrisy in, in our fight against terrorism, and if you allow the terrorists to active, to be active in your countries, if you uh, believe that Daesh is bad terrorist, but PKK is the best one, if you allow them to raise uh, money forcibly, if you allow their illegal activities in your countries, and in the future, yeah, then nobody will be safe because what president wanted to say that do not support the terrorist organizations and take the same measures against uh, all the terrorists, all sorts of terrorists without any double it standard. It sounded very this much exactly like a threat. What is it. it is not a threatening. This all is right. how you like to interpret. In April, you received the most damaging assessment of your progress so far by the European Commission. They spoke of major steps in the wrong direction and said Turkey had suffered serious relapses in the areas of justice, rule of law, fundamental rights, and freedom of expression, and cited measures taken since the attempted coup as widespread dismissals, arrests, and detentions, all of which raise serious concerns. The why, do you not, why do you not what heed, why I, do you reject what, all these criticisms? Why should I, what should I do with the persons who are actively involved in the attempted coup? They are working in the 223,000 people have been arrested. No, that is not true. Not because of the, there are people who uh, actually rob the, the banks. Uh, there are murderers, there are rapists, there are drug traffickers. You know, do you are, need to curtail what do you, what do you do? What do you do with this kind of people in your country? Do you need and to there curtail are, there civil are and political than, rights? That, let you asked me, me a question. Let me give you a... Uh, you asked me a question. Yes, I can ask you a question. You, you did, is, and I'm yeah. trying to answer it. And what will you do for, with the people who are involved in the crime in your country? There are more than 2,000 Turks from Turkey, not the Turks living in Germany, are in the prison. Why did you put them in the prison then? Why? Because maybe they are involved in the crime. I cannot say that they are innocent because you have the judiciary here. The rest of the world isn't buying these explanations, is it? The chief human rights if official. You like, can I you just buy make, it? If you can I just like, say the question? If you don't like, you don't. You don't buy it. This is uh, the because offer, you the, think the that senior, you are boss. You no, are not the boss. I'm talking you about the senior. I'm talking about the senior human rights official of the United Nations, who is concerned by arbitrary mass dismissals of civil servants and private sector employees, arbitrary closure of civil society organizations, arbitrary detention, the use of torture and ill treatment during pre-trial detention, restrictions on free expression and movement, arbitrary expropriation of private property. Those are things that he is concerned about, not me. He's concerned. I'm talking about the chief security of chief my country, human rights official. Security of my people is more important than what he is saying, and he is a biased person, and there is a conflict of interest. I know him very well, okay. And these people, these associations, belong to the FETO, which also, uh, which is, who FETO is also is FETO is terrorist, terrorist organizations, and well, who you are say the terrorists? Because other people don't. Be, no, because. Uh, many uh, Western countries were very happy uh, on, on that night, okay? Because uh, he, he, he attempted the coup, but he failed. And in the morning, many uh, Western countries who like him very much regretted that the coup uh, failed. Therefore, for you, he's a good man. But for Turkish people... Which Western and, country uh, rejected for, that the coup for had For you, failed. he's a good man. And for others, and for Turkish people, 
And for many other friendly countries, uh, this is a terrorist organization. That's why many countries are closing their networks and the schools in those countries. Which, okay? West, which Western country hailed the coup? Which Western country approved of the coup? Unfortunately, uh, the big majority of which, them. Which one? Give even, name, name me even, one. Even that name night. Me one. Even, you can't even, name me one. No, I can give you which the one? name. Which one? Many European countries. Which one? Many. Single Almost one all out. of them. Almost all of really? them. Really? You can't, you can't yeah. give me one? You why, can't give me a single why one? Why nobody came to visit us after the coup? You can't give me a single one? Almost all of them. Really? Yes. And you can't give me a single name? Almost all of them. No, you can't. You can't pick I one. Can give pick one. Almost all pick of one. them. Pick one. Pick Almost a, pick all of them. Pick a sentence. Almost all of them. Really? Yes. You have no evidence for that whatsoever. I have the evidence of that. I, many ministers that night actually questioned me at 3 o'clock in the morning how Turkey was going to treat these plotters instead of asking me how I was doing personally and how, how the, the situation was in Turkey. Who do you think people are going to believe? The UN human rights official who speaks out against human rights violations in the world or you representing an administration which is charged it is with massive abuse it, of human it is, rights? It is which, up, it who's going to believe you? It is you? up to you and it is up to the people. You think, to you think human rights are just artificial obstacles, no. don't you? No. Because your president said in a recent interview, Remember, I call on the EU to remove these artificial obstacles. Artificial obstacle means the political obstacles. Due to the rise of racism, Islamophobia, some countries are against Turkey's membership. This is exactly what uh, I meant. Uh, you know, president is re uh, what he is saying that Turkey is ready to continue the relations with the European Union uh, on the basis of the uh, standards, democratic standards. But if you look at the uh, obstacles, because of Cyprus or because of Sarkozy, because of that, all of them are artificial and the political one. Okay? Mr. Foreign Minister, let's talk about Fatullah Gulen, the Islamic cleric in the States. You've asked the States to... He's a terrorist organization. You have asked he is not an Islamic can I, can cleric. I make, can I give you the question first? Yes, go ahead. You have asked but the I have to disagree with you. You have asked the U.S. to This is what I mean. Look, even you for have you, asked the US he's, to a plotter. He's, he's, a, he's a plotter and he's a terrorist. I understand what you said. Because you like what he did in Turkey. That's why you said Islamic cleric. This is exactly what I meant. Now you answer the I'm question. Not going, I'm not going to use your language. Now you are answering the you, question that you put to you, me yourself. You want the US to extradite him. Yes. What is causing increasing concern in the United States is the fact that in April 2016, you arrested an American missionary, Andrew Brunson, apparently to hold as a bargaining chip unless and until the US extradites Gulen. The reason we know that is because the reason you know that this is what how, how this is you what your sure? this is what your president admitted in a speech last autumn he said about the americans give us the pastor back they say you have one pastor as well meaning gulen give him to us then we will try him branson and give him to you what is that if not hostage diplomacy it is not hostage diplomacy my friend what is it then branson you're offering an exchange branson is accused and the indictment is there if you have if you spare five minutes to read the indictment, you will see what kind of accusations there are in the indictment. It is a poorly uh, judicial process. It is not a politically motivated process. So why are you offering so to trade him? No, then? we didn't. We never offered. You did? No, we didn't. Give it's us the pasta back. No, you have never, one pasta we, we as well. Give that. him to us. We then never, we will try we, him and we, give him to you. We never did that. But when there, there are agreements bet uh, between the uh, countries, including a bit, uh, between Turkey and the United States, actually to extradite the people or to exchange of the prisoners. To, uh, to sometimes when the prisoner is sentenced, for instance, you can send it, him or her to uh, uh, her or his uh, host countries. These are the agreements. It can happen. But, but pastor, is, so pastor, you are offering pastor, an exchange. No, we, have, we didn't offer it. I am no, telling you that there are said. agreements. No, no, no. no. I gave you this the is, quote. I gave you the is, quote. This is how you are interpreting. And we have, we have never been in this kind of bargaining with any country, my friend. And only sometimes the intelligences actually work together uh, to uh, extradite some terrors or when there is a serious situation, this is a kind of cooperation between the countries. 
But Pastor is, has been detained. He has not been charged. But there are serious accusations. You read the indictment and you can see yourself uh, what kind of and accusations there are. you still held out in exchange. Minister, let's talk about Syria. You're playing, you said, a leading role in the political process over Syria. You therefore have to take some of the blame for the fact that this process has got precisely nowhere, has it? Geneva, Astana, Sochi. The Russians have allowed President Assad to basically keep winning the war and have cemented his position. You said you wanted Assad out. You are further away from achieving that goal than at any time, aren't you? Well, we believe that uh, Assad cannot rule this country anymore because he has killed almost one million people. And it is, it is not only up to me, you know. Uh, You're playing a leading is, role in the no, talks. I'll tell you, it is up to the Syrian people actually at the end to decide to whom actually, who should uh, going to rule the country. Maybe that's why we need to prepare the country for the democratic elections. Turkey has been playing an important role, crucial role at different platforms. And since Aleppo, we have been working. We started working with Russia. Then we included Iran as well. Because I you like it or not, Iran is also an important actor. We disagree with, uh, with Iran uh, on different issues, including uh, the Assad. But this and is a major issue. This, yeah, is, this is a the major, major issue. issue. And they are working but, but, against but, but, your interests. No, but they are now your, be your best this, friends. This is not, no, they are not my best friend. I have been working with them. But you don't have to agree on everything with a country or a person uh, to work together. Sometimes you can put the, this uh, disagreements in the brackets, but Astana process, for instance, have been very helpful to uh, actually uh, consolidate the ceasefire, the escalation zones, and also ex uh, to take some confidence building steps between measures between the regime and the opposition and including cement the power of the man who in, has killed a million people in, by no, your by your accusation in, you cement his power that's no 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 do. that's not true you cemented that his is power. not true we have never changed our position the russians are not going to let Russia, him fall and you okay, know that this is a very serious problem syria it is not only my problem i'm trying to explain what the situation is and what we have been trying to do okay astana okay Sochi, it was only once, and we linked Sochi to Geneva. The problem is, nobody is paying enough attention to Geneva. I mean the political process. Not, it is not only about Russia and Iran. It is also about our uh, allies in the coalition. So without, I mean, uh, get, without taking any steps forward or making any progress or achievements in Geneva, how can we be sure about the political solution? Now, uh, the co Constitutional Committee has to be formed. But am I, am I pessimistic about everything? Yes, no, not, not very pessimistic. In, in almost a year and a half, we made a lot of progress, but we still uh, must do a lot more together. All right, and okay, it we're, is running, not only we're running right. out of time, okay. Minister. I just and want then, one uh, last therefore question. Therefore, we should pay equal attention uh, to both fighting terrorists and also to the political process. One, one last question, Minister. Your elections are coming up in June, parliamentary presidential elections. You've invited the OSCE, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, to monitor these elections. As we did before. As you did before. And, and the you, Council of Europe and, 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 and the parliamentary And, and, and you rejected their criticism out of hand when they said to you that the vote last year had not lived up to the standards of the OSCE and the Council of Europe. Your president said, I do not see, hear, or acknowledge reports by the OSCE observer mission. So why bother to invite them once again when you're going to reject any criticism? No, we don't have? reject the criticism. And we have been inviting OECE, OECE Odeur, and Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe to monitor the elections in Turkey, every single election. When there is a local elections, actually Council of Europe again observes the elections. Last year, some of the members of this uh, ad hoc committees, unfortunately, participated in the campaign of uh, uh, pro-PKK party HDP, including Andrei Hunko, who is a German uh, politician. So you don't like what they say, you accuse so, them of being pro-PKK. So, the, so the, the observers should be objective and balanced. 
They cannot take a side. They cannot participate. I also observe elections in many countries during my years uh, at the Council of Europe. So uh, observers should be objective and balanced. We cannot take a side. We cannot participate in the campaigns of any political parties. And unless they give you the results you want, they're going to no, be biased. Un unfortunately, you call them no, biased. Un un if you You'll participate in the PKK uh, propaganda, you are biased. If you support the PKK, you are a terrorist supporter. Very clear. Thank you, Minister, very much for being on Public Thank Song. You. Thank you. <laughs>